Welcome everyone to the fourth episode of Refrigerant Renegades! What is Glide? Previously, we learned that R410A and R454B are blended refrigerants with a base of me, R32. But how does blending affect the way they operate? R32 and R125 have saturation temperatures very similar to each other. Because they are so close, I have a very small temperature glide. R32 and R1234YF have slightly different saturation temperatures, which creates a wider glide. So, glide is simply the difference between the saturation temperatures, which would affect the calculation of superheat and subcooling. Okay, now that makes sense. Okay, so glide, superheat, subcool, saturation, bubble point, dew point. Okay, so the low point is called the bubble point, and the high point is called the dew point. Nobody ever mentions my glide. It's only 0 0.3 degrees Fahrenheit. It was so close that most charts didn't even show it. And my glide is really quite minimal at 3.7 degrees. Today's digital tools make the calculation for us based on glide midpoint, which is simply halfway between the dew and bubble points. With mechanical gauges, you must use a PT chart to determine the dew and bubble points. Why do I get flipped upside down when charging? All 400 series blended refrigerants should be charged inverted to eliminate fractionation, which is when one refrigerant boils off before the other. So we should both be charged upside down then, as a liquid. You got it, and I can be charged either way since I am a single component refrigerant. Become an HVACR superhero with ESCO. Learn more at ESCO Group dot o r g